Hey guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Sam and this is my dog King. We are going to talk a little bit more today about reasons that you would use an e-collar for your dog. Some of the most popular reasons that people use e-collars for their dog are to help correct some negative behaviors, but mainly to work on off-leash training once they've mastered basic obedience. The e-collar that we currently use for King is this one. It is the Mini Educator Model ET300. The reason that we picked it is that it's supposed to fit almost any size dog. It's waterproof up to, I think, six feet. Uh, and also it has a half mile range so when you are using it for training and everything else it's really convenient that you can be a little bit further away from your dog than they're used to listening. The actual e-collar in the ET300 looks like this. It's got the little charge block on the end and two prongs on the inside. These are supposed to go anywhere that your dog's neck is sensitive. Examples of some areas that we use on King are on the bottom of either side of his neck or right behind his ears on either side. This is because these are areas that tend to have more nerve endings, so this is much more effective when used for training. The ET300 model also comes with a distance remote. Again, it works up to about a half mile. And there are a couple different buttons that I'm just going to show you really quick to get a basic idea of how this works. The first thing I want to show you guys is how you turn it on. So both of these remotes have a small red dot and the way that you turn it on is that you touch them together until it flashes green. You can do it again to shut it off. It will turn red. And in general, using this remote is the most complicated part of the e-collar. One of the first things I'm going to show you guys is that there is a letter T on one side and a letter S two letter S's on the other. The letter T is tone, which we refer to as vibrate. This does not hurt your dog. It's very uncomfortable. They just don't like the harsh vibration in a sensitive area of their neck. So we tend to use vibrate if King is doing something dangerous. Um, my best example of this is sometimes he likes to drink out of dirty water. The puddles are absolutely disgusting, so I would use Vibrate to tell him that that's not an action that is okay with me. Back to this side with the two S's. So these do the same thing. This is the shock, which we refer to a lot as like a super annoying itch that he'll get on his neck when you're using it. It's not as intense as the Vibrate is. We tend to use this one more for uh, correcting behavior that we're not thrilled with. An example of this would be for basic training. We use it a lot if he's doing something that we don't love. Uh, my best example would probably be recall. If he's not coming when I call his name, I hit the S button until he comes. The only difference between the black button and the red button is if you hold the black button, it's about a second. You just push and it will stop no matter how long you hold it. If you are pressing on the red button, you can hold it down and can see the light in the front will turn on it will hold this annoying itch until you let go of the button see this one just flashes i just want to do a really quick side note uh not all trainers agree with using an e-collar we use an e-collar on king because he responds very well to this but in general a lot of people have an idea that an e-collar is not safe or is cruel to use on your dog i want to make sure that i respect everybody's opinions but in general there are a lot of tips that you can get uh, and use online that will explain a little bit more about the correct way that you can use the e-collar without being cruel to your dog it does have a feature right here on the top this spins this is one of the most important things that you can learn how to use correctly when using the e-collar. So I'm gonna get really close for a second. You can see it starts with a zero and if rotated, goes all the way up to high, which is 100. What this knob does is actually control how strong the feeling of the vibrate or the shock the dog is feeling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play a couple of clips for all of you guys that can show a little bit more about how I use the e-collar with King. And, you know, can you sit? Good boy, good sit. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. No, honey. Shock button. Come back. Come here. Good boy, good deal. You have itch? Oh, wait a minute. Ready? Heel. Good 
good boy, good here. Good fit, honey. Good boy, Theo. Good Theo. Good boy. Theo, you do that go? Theo. Theo, come. Good boy, Theo. Good job. Can come. Good boy. Yep. All right, King. I'm gonna throw it. Ready? Set. Can come. 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 Come to Mama and said. Sit. Sit. Sit down, please. Good boy. Good job. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions or if there's anything you would like to see me do in the future, please leave those comments below. Don't forget before you leave to hit like and subscribe to really help our channel. Thank you. Can I, can I shut the camera off? Honey, I need to shut the camera off.